my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salian Consulting and this is a quick FileMaker tip. This is something I ran into recently and it's, it has to do with grabbing data from a filtered portal. So let me jump right in. Here is a database that has account details and it has transactions for a given account. So in this example, the account number one has these four transactions, but the user said, can you show me just the last 30 days? And I didn't want to add a new table occurrence to my relationships graph, so I used a filtered portal. So pretty cool stuff here. I have, a, I have two filtered portals, actually. One that shows me the line by line of the transactions, and then I have a one line filtered portal that has the summary field from that related table. So it does show me that 9335. Now if I were to run a script and I tried to pull the summary amount, through the relationship I would get $300.18 but what I want is 93.35 so how do I get that number if I just want to grab the last 30 days let me jump into layout mode quickly let me just show you that this is a filtered portal it says that the date of the transaction has to be greater than or equal to the current date minus 30 so the last 30 days now to make this work the important thing is to name the object so I've here's that summary field and I've called it field underscore total 30. Now I've written a script where a variable called total 30 is being set to something and that something is whatever's in that field and the way I did it is by using the, the function get layout object attribute. It asks me two questions here what object and what am I grabbing? Well the object name is field underscore total 30 and what I want is the content of that field, the contents of that field. And then just for the sake of the example, I'm showing a custom dialog to show that value. So I'm going to run this real quick. And it says last 30 days, 9335, exactly what we expected to see. Now what's super cool about this is that it pulled the formatting with it. One of the things that FileMaker is known for is that when you pull a, a value, you get just the value. So if I were to pull the summary field from the related records through the relationship, I would get 300.18. I wouldn't get the dollar sign. I may not get two, you know, two decimal places or however many I want. But because the get layout object attribute, in concept, it's, it's pretty much physically going to that field and grabbing whatever it sees. Well, it sees dollar sign $93.35. So it's pulling that, putting it right into the variable, and then putting it right into our dialog. I think it's super cool that you can grab something so easily. Um, it's layout dependent, but that's kind of the magic of it, is a filtered portal is just that. It really opens up the doors to grabbing anything off the layout, even if it's through something like a filtered portal that does, that can't be calculated through a relationship. I'd love to hear if you use get layout object attribute, how you're using it, what you're doing with it. So please leave some comments and thanks for watching.